there's one thing that I'm always super proud about, and it's just watching Harry and Meghan day in day out continue supporting what is right continue doing what is right and are always wanting to assist the last privilege within the society that's one admiration that i have towards them and uh, i know god will for sure repay them no wonder whatever they do it always automatically just turns out to be a success because i believe God is kind of showering them because they deserve all these flowers. They deserve all this acknowledgement. Because yes, they've done more than what is literally just expected of them. And I know we all know very well that the U.S. Senate Judiciary today held uh, the biopartisan hearing. And Ari and Megan have already given out their statement. We all know what has been happening around. We all know what the girl child is facing in this particular community, this particular era, this particular season and generation of ours. We know the difficulties the girl is facing. And that just watching people come out and about wanting nothing but the best for everyone, that's the best part of it all because it's not a larger percent. Or let me say it's just that not all of us are able to. But there was that whole statement, that video clip that Harry and Meghan released in the year 2022 in October. Whereby Harry said, if I'm to quote his words, was that you cannot change the whole community. But as a person, you can make a difference where you are. With one, two, three people, you can still change the ones surrounding you even a portion of the society that's a change you've made and uh, that's why harry and megan day in day out what they preach what they want to see is nothing about positivity is nothing but people making it people living per expectations as much as i always say they have less power within them but the last power they have is the same exact power that they tend to use to make this world a better place for every other person out here. Just allow me to take you through a short article which was published January on 31st and uh, it was been written on actual website. You can just go check it out. It has a title that states statement from Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex on online child safety. And uh, this hearing or the Senate Judiciary was attended with the uh, parents whom uh, they've probably lost or kind of just lose their kids on online bullying. Parents are there, the ones who their kids uh, at some point have faced this and uh, you could get to see that they truly need uh, th to create this awareness. They truly, there is a need to do so. Today, the U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee held a bipartisan hearing on online child safety in front of a packed room, including dozens of parents whose children have suffered or died due to online harms. The actual foundation has been working with many of these families to provide a support network for parents dealing with the grief or who have children managing serious mental health condition as a result of their exposure to harmful online content. Prince Harry and Megan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and co-founders of the actual foundation said in court, we applaud the bravery and determination of the thousands of parents around the country whose advocacy resulted in this hearing. Over the past few years, we have spent time with many of these families listening to their heart ache and their hopes for the urgent change that is needed in the online space. This is an issue that transcended division and party lines. 
As we saw today at the Senate hearing, the best parenting in the world cannot keep children safe from these platforms. As one of the fathers shared with us in court, if love could have saved them, all of our children would still be here. This is not the time to pass the back to responsibility. It's the time to make necessary change at the source to keep our children safe. And it ends there. People out here have really gone through a lot. Watching this happen, watching a parent having lost a child in one way or another, I I personally can't be able to fix myself in that particular issue of what that parent, that father, that mother. There is truly a need of changing this whole thing. Because, you know, once you lose a loved one coming back, it's never possible. That's why change needs to be implemented as fast as possible. And the fact that people are out and about making sure that this whole thing comes to a fulfillment, I personally have positive hopes that for sure it will indeed happen. Somebody commented this about the same and said, it's great to see Meghan Markle and Prince Harry using their platform to advocate for children, for child safety. Their emotional message after the Senate child safety hearing highlights the importance of protecting and nurturing our children. Their dedication to make a positive impact is inspiring. Let's hope their voices and efforts contribute to positive change in the lives of children everywhere. Thank you, Megan and Harry, for using your influence to raise awareness on such crucial issues. That's why we love them. And that's why we, we, we kind of need such people in this particular society. People who fight for people's rights. People who fight for people's well-being, not for the sake of their own selfish gain. They deserve nothing but acknowledgement, appreciation, name it all, because it is indeed very, very much emotional. Just watching all this happen, really, for sure, Harry and Meghan are truly trying their level best just to ensure each and everything that they themselves have decided to take part in at the end of the day just come to a fulfillment. Personally, I love what they're doing to the society, to the community, and I believe such things will for sure bear good fruits. They deserve all the flowers. And I don't know what's your take on this. Kindly just comment them down below. But Harry and Megan are truly great people. That's my take. I don't know what's your take. Just let me know down below.